What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again with our last order of operations lesson for this playlist, lesson four. Let's dive right in and see what's behind the shield. So your objective today, today I will be able to solve multi-step computational problems involving exponents by using the order of operations. So we're taking the next step here by adding exponents into our computational problems and now we're going to have to work through that step of our order of operations, which leads us to our math vocabulary. So the first two you already have written down, you'll need to write those down again. An operation, of course, is adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. The order of operations, of course, is the order that we're doing those operations in to solve math problems. And then exponents. Exponents are repeated multiplication. Let's take a closer look at what exponents really are. All right, so this is just a quick review. If this is brand new to you and you've never heard of exponents before, watch the next few minutes of this video, but if you're still confused, come up here and check out our awesome introduction to exponents uh, lesson. I think it'll be very, very clear after that. And then we also have an awesome exponent song, kind of a silly uh, love song, if you will, that we wrote about exponents. But exponents are re repeated multiplication. So the basic rundown is this number is your base and this is the power that you are raising that base to. In other words, this is the amount of times you're going to repeatedly multiply the base. So four to the third power would be four times four times four because you are repeatedly multiplying it this many times. That's what we say when we say raise to the third power. It just means that you're going to do the base number that many times. So 4 times 4 times 4 is going to be 64. So 4 to the third power is really saying 64. That's the value of 4 to the third power. This would be 5 to the second power. So again, your base number is 5, and you're just going to repeatedly multiply it twice. So 5 to the second power is 25. Now sometimes you'll hear if it's a 2 instead of saying 5 to the second power, let's say 5 squared. And sometimes instead of saying 5 to the third power, let's say 5 cubed. It's kind of just a different way to say the same thing. So the 2 would be squared, the 3 would be cubed. So here I actually have parentheses. I have 10 plus 2 raised to the second power. All right. So you actually want to group the parentheses together because what this is saying is whatever inside the parentheses, you're going to raise that to the second power. So really this is saying 12 to the second power, which is 12 times 12, which is a basic fact of 144. So 10 plus 2 in parentheses raised to the second power or squared equals 144. Again, that's just a really quick rundown of what exponents are. Please, if you've never done it before, pause this video, open up our introduction to exponents lesson, watch that, and then come back to this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So this leads us back into parentheses to start, exponents the next part, multiplication and division left to right is smart, add subtract is next, left to right is best, now you've done the equation and your teacher's impressed. Man, I love that song. It gives me goosebumps every time I hear it, right? So the first day we did without parentheses, so we just focused on these two steps on the first day. Then we added parentheses on the second day, our second lesson. And then on the th in the third lesson, we took those same steps but did fractions and decimals as well, realizing that it doesn't matter if it's a fraction or decimal or whole number, we still follow the order of operations. And then today in our last lesson, we're going to add exponents. Okay, so all we're doing is taking this step and now this step will be important. We can't skip it. We have to ask ourselves, do we have any exponents? So our I do is asking me for the solution to this expression again to solve it. So I have parentheses. I need to fill um, I need to solve my parentheses first to get rid of them. Right? I need to group these together. So that's going to be three and one third. Then I need to rewrite this. Okay. Now I can't skip to multiplication because I have an exponent. I need to solve this exponent first. So uh, two squared is really saying two times two, which is four. So now I've simplified my exponents and all I have is this multiplication left. 
So again, over here, I'm going to solve this. This is going to be 10 thirds times 4 over 1, which is going to be 40 thirds. And when you divide that, you are going to get 13 in 1 third. So when I followed my order of operations, this expression was equal to 13 and 1 thirds. Let's try the uh, we do problem. Okay, now again, paying attention to what the exponent is. I do not have any parentheses here, so I don't have anything to group together, but I do have exponents. So I have five to the third power, which again is saying five times five times five, okay? So five times five would be 25, times another five would be 125. So five raised to the third power is really the number 125. Then I need to rewrite it. So now I've gotten rid of my exponents. I have subtraction and multiplication. I know based on my order of operations, if I'm crossing out my steps, I need to do my multiplication before my subtraction. So I'm gonna solve that step and say 16. And now I have 125 minus 16. I'm done with my multiplication and division step. And when I simplify that, I get 109. So when I evaluated the expression or solved the expression, this expression was equal to 109. Hopefully you can see that really I haven't added too much. I've just added exponents, just another step to do. But I know how to multiply. I know how to solve these now because I watched the exponent lesson. I've listened to the song. I feel good about it. Now I'm just using my steps. So go ahead and pause the video. You try this one. I've added some decimals in here. Don't freak out. Just follow your steps. Go ahead and pause it if you're ready. And then when you get done, push play. We'll check it together. If you're not ready, don't worry about it. We can do it together. So hopefully you just paused it. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write down my steps over here. Okay. And I'm going to put my arrow there. And I don't have any parentheses again, but I do have exponents. So I need to solve or simplify my exponent first. 4 to the second power, or 4 squared, is 4 times 4, which is 16. And then I need to rewrite everything else. So now I have 8 and 4 tenths times 16 divided by 6. I've solved out my exponents. I have multiplication and division. Realizing that these are equal, so I don't do one before the other. I just have to go from left to right. And when I go from left to right, I need to solve 8 and 4 tenths times 16. Again, if you're struggling with multiplying decimals, check out our decimal song up here as a reminder, just kind of a fun way for you maybe to remember how to do it, or check out our multiplying decimal lessons. But because this isn't a multiplying decimal lesson, I'll go ahead and tell you, if you did not figure it out, that 8 and 4 tenths times 16 is 134 and 4 tenths, and then I need to rewrite my divided by 6. Again, Dividing decimals, okay, if it's in the dividend, you raise it to the roof, and when you divide that, you should have gotten 22 and 4 tenths, all right? If you follow the steps correctly and you solved out uh, your order of operations and you did not get this answer, go back and look line by line. This is why I rewrite it line by line so I can be neat and find my mistake. Figure out, did you do your math wrong? Did you not follow the steps correctly? What went wrong? And it's okay to fail as long as you learn from it. That way next time, you'll be better than you were this time. Thank you so much for joining us on this order of operations journey. Um, we hope that you've enjoyed the lessons. Uh, we hope you like the song more than anything. And we hope you liked all the videos and subscribed. Um, little shameless self-promotion, never hurt anybody. As always, we appreciate you and hope you'll join us for our other playlist. Instructed Beats. Out.